Okay, so today we're doing a video to do the test for anti-scalant for the uh, VTEC 3000 anti-scalant that is used in the ROs. Um, this test is a test procedure that's going to verify the, uh, the amount of anti-scalant that's in the ROs. So Nate here uh, is going to do the test today. And uh, he's going to get started. The test procedure is actually uh, the test, it's the same test that we use for the phosphonate program, uh, the phosphonates for the boilers. So if we go to our uh, favorites on our DR2800 and we go down to the phosphonate test, test number 501 on the, on the uh, DR2800, that's where we're going to start, okay? The test calls for five ml of sample. So what he has there is um, concentrate from the RO and 45 ml of DI water, okay? So Nate started with 45 ml of DI water and he's topping that off with the five ml of RO concentrate water. And then he's gonna mix that together. You can see that Nate's wearing his safety glasses. Uh, you always wanna be prepared in the lab you never know if something's gonna splash up and hit you in the face, uh, and you wanna make sure you're prepared for that, okay? So after Nate mixes that, he's gonna take a 25 ml sample bottle, and he's gonna fill a 25 ml sample bottle with that. He's also gonna take a 10 ml sample bottle and fill that. That is gonna become the, uh, the blank for the test. And then just like for the phosphonate test for your boiler, uh, Nate is going to put in uh, potassium persulfate to the 25 ml sample bottle and, uh, and get that cooking. And once again, this is the same test uh, as your test for phosphonate that we do on the LP here at Naval Station. So Nate has put in the potassium persulfate and he is going to get that with the UV for the 10 minute digestion, get that going, and he's gonna hit the start on the test for 10 minutes. Okay, so the first 10 minute digestion period is up. Nate's gonna take the UV off, and he's now gonna transfer from the 25 ml to the 10 ml and he's going to add a phosphor 3 packet and this is as per the directions okay that will be posted in the chemical test procedures for the DR2800 that's on the shelf here in the lab so Nate's going to add the uh, phosphor 3 he's going to swirl the mix and then he's going to hit the 2 minute timer on the test. Okay, so the two minute timer is now up for the second part of the test. Nate is going to take and uh, put the blank in and zero it out. And then he will put in the uh, digestive sample. Always make sure your numbers are to the face and to the right there. And it got a rating of 2.54. Okay, so now we got a little math to do. 2.54 is the answer for the result of the test. So according to the directions, if you take the result of the test, which is 2.54, and you multiply that by 6.25, now 6.25 is the number that we were given by the chemical company. That's the number for the chemical, okay? So we take the, the result of the test, 2.54, and multiply that by 6.25, and that's 15.87, okay? So there's 15.87 ppm of chemical 
in the RO concentrate. Okay, so that's a good validation that there is chemical in the RO. There is anti-scaling, all right? So if we want to take that test one step further and find out what our feed rate of anti-scaling is, we then go further on, okay? And we want to take the recovery rate of the RO and multiply that by the result of one minus 0 0.75, which is the recovery rate. And what we're gonna do is, so we have we have the recovery rate of the RO. So here at Naval Station, it's 75%. At North Island, they run at 70%, and MCRD runs at 65%. So here at Naval Station, it's 75%. So we're gonna take, according to this math equation, we're gonna take one, subtract it by 0 0.75, and remember it's 0 0.75 because you're running at 75%. If it was 70 at North Island, it would be 0 0.70, okay? And the result of one minus 0 0.75 is 0 0.25, okay? And then we're gonna multiply that by our 15.87. Remember 15.87 was the result of the multiplier 6.25 and the result of the test. So we're gonna take 15.87 times 0 0.25. That comes up with 3.96. So we know we have 3.96 ppm of anti-scalant going into the RO. Okay, and that's the test. And once again, this test will be right in here, the chemical test procedures. And uh, thank you very much, and thank you, Nate, for doing the test today, and uh, that's it.